The Internet of Things was a big theme here at the Broadband World Forum. They say it's going to revolutionise consumer lives, but until we get there, there are a few challenges to overcome. The Internet of Things is probably one of the most transformational ideas that we have across the industry at the moment. Where it started many years ago was actually what they call machine to machine, and that's kind of the industrial IoT as they would call it today. But the consumer IoT is finally coming to fruition. Homes are getting smarter, right? You have thermostats that now talk to the network and you've got smoke alarms that can call the fire department if they go off and you've got refrigerators that can signal when things are going on. And If you look at the future, we have a vision of about 50 billion devices. So. Uh, already we're at a point where there's as many uh, machine connections as there are people connections and that's just going to grow and grow and grow. Basically anything that you see, uh, electrical or, or electric uh, mechanic, uh, will over time be connected. There are so many benefits and values that can be created that will, for you as a consumer or for your business, uh, change a lot of uh, things that you take for granted today. It, it, will, it will work in another way in, in the future. Put simply, what it's really about is the idea of insight or information becoming the commodity of value. Um, that, of course, is hugely broad. That insight could be something as simple as helping me park my car. Where's the parking space? Can I get to it? Can I book it? It could be something as profound as helping a health and social care system work more effectively. Well, we'd see a very big shift in the way that you actually, I would say, purchase products. I think uh, going into to more looking for services that you want instead of purchasing products that do these services. The essential element that is at the heart of all those things, whether it be health, whether it be helping cities work better in the future, is insight, becoming knowledgeable and having the information you need when you need it to help with a task. The example, I think, would be something like a smart parking system. You have a number of different sensors that are dotted throughout the available parking infrastructure in the downtown business district. But what you're really trying to do is to create enough insights based on that to understand how do you relieve some of the frustration someone has in trying to find a parking space in downtown. So it's going to be taking information from that sensor in the pavement, from the movement of traffic. It's going to be based on potential cell towers. And the combination of all these data sources is going to extract insights that say, here is an available parking space. Of course, and there, there are many challenges, let's not uh, underestimate those at all. You're talking about, uh, it's pretty much uh, a fire hose of data that's coming out of all of these things that has to then be stored in different locations. Um, and you're, you're going to gather uh, much more data, um, and well, you're going to be generating much more data, and then you have to gather it, and then you have to figure out how to analyze and store all of that. You need a platform that's open that you can a developer can develop applications to make use of those devices. So you need the interconnectivity, you definitely need the, you know, the fast internet connectivity. You need uh, an open platform with uh, APIs that allow developers to then develop new applications that sit on top of that. We have to adopt a worldwide IPv6 in all the files to address everything. That's a, that's a major step is needed. The second uh, important is that also security. I heard someone uh, who'd had a had their equipment hacked uh, and they found out who it was and, and uh, the response to why is really because it could be done. So it's extremely important that you have the security as a foundation in order uh, for people to feel trust and, and uh, uh, to make it grow. You know, to enable mass market, first of all, the uses need to make sense, right? And right now we're in the, we're in the, the you know, euphoria of let's make everything wireless. And you know, that's, that's great. And you know, but then the market will weed out the, the uses that don't make sense. And, but there's going to be an explosion of the, the ones that do make sense. And I think you need to work really closely together with the different partners in that ecosystem. Uh, one company cannot do, deliver and do this alone. So you need, you need really tight partnerships with the hardware vendors, with the connectivity vendors, with the application and, and, and services uh, parts, and, and working closely together to achieve this quality and ease of use. The biggest challenge in realizing the Internet of Things is working out how it can be monetized. Click up top for some answers, or for more from the Broadband World Forum, please subscribe.